Hello students, in the course wireless mobile communication of the um, Caritas College of Engineering, uh, we are going to see the first unit that is introduction of the uh, wireless communication system. In which we have completed first part uh, is the different generations of the mobile communication and uh, now we will see the wireless communication system definitions or we can say the different terminologies of the wireless communication systems. The base station is one of the um, main uh, thing in the uh, wireless communication uh, system and uh, as we know that means whatever the mobile stations are there these are connected with the base station a fixed station in a mobile radio system used for the radio communication with mobile station. Base stations are located at the center or on the edge of the of a cover region and the consist of the radio channels and transmitter and receiver antennas mounted on a tower. So, uh, you may have seen these particular base stations. Uh, um, so, uh, around us these many base stations are there. On the uh, base station uh, tower will be there and on the tower different antennas are connected uh, with the that particular base station the transmitter and receivers are uh, there. Okay, so, uh, this particular is the main entity of the wireless communication system. Um, control channel as we know that means uh, many different control information uh, is going to send on the uh, mobile uh, means uh, uh, different different like uh, we can say the um, uh, internal uh, control uh, uh, messages they are going to send. So, radio channels used for the transmission of call setup, call request, call uh, initiation and the other becomes. Uh, or the control purpose are nothing but the uh, are nothing but the control channels forward channel is uh, nothing but the base station to mobile station whatever the communication is there that particular is nothing but the uh, forward channel and uh, uh, reverse channel is opposite to that that mobile station to the base station whatever the transmission of the signal is, uh, transmission of the um, uh, information is there or the transmission of the IDO is there that particular is the reverse channel. Uh, now these are the basic uh, terminologies as we know that these uh, basic terminologies you may have um, uh, discussed about anywhere. So, half duplex is nothing but uh, transmission and uh, uh, reception is possible with the, uh, whatever the equipment is there, but um, there is a limitation that. Um, we have to miss I if I wanted to uh, transmit the signal to another uh, uh, station then I have to put one switch uh, that particular switch on the transmit and if I want to receive the signal receive the information at that time I have to put that particular uh, switch on the uh, receive. So, communication system which allows two way communication by using the same radio channel for both the transmission and the reception at any given time. Uh, the user can only enter the transmit or the receive information. So, uh, a full duplex system that is simultaneous transmission and reception is possible. There is no any uh, type of the uh, switching from the uh, transmission or the reception. So, full duplex is the simultaneous transmission and reception is possible. Simplex uh, system in which the communication system which provides only one way communication that is nothing but the uh, simplex communication. Then uh, mobile station. So, uh, every subscriber is having whatever the handheld equipment which uh, is used for the transmission and reception purpose. It is the mobile station, a station in the cellular radio service intended for the use while in motion at unspecified locations. Mobile stations may be handheld personal units, portable, or the installed in a vehicle or the mobile. So, these are these are nothing but the means uh, we know that everyone is having whatever the handheld uh, stations are there these are the mobile stations. Mobile switching center is one of the we can say basic terminology related to the mobile uh, communication and uh, in which means um, number of base stations are connected to this particular mobile switching center. So, switching center which coordinates the routing of the calls in the large service area. Uh, in a 
cellular radio system the msc connects the cellular base station and the mobile to the pstn that is the public switch telephone network and msc that is mobile switching uh, center is also called as the mobile telephone switching office that is the mtso okay so um, if we take into consideration whatever we um, uh, we can say architecture of the mobile communication system in which the base stations are connected with the mobile stations base stations are connected with the uh, mobile switching centers so number of base stations are connected to the mobile uh, switching centers and switching center is going to route your call that that is the main thing they are going to do trans receiver always means whatever the handheld equipments are there that is the mobile stations are there they are um, used as a trans receiver so this device capable of the simultaneous transmitting and the receiving radios uh, radio signals are known as the trans receivers now um, a page or the message we can say brief message so uh, paging is nothing but the messaging uh, in alpha bits or the numeric uh, values only the brief message which broadcast over entire service area usually in the simulcast fashion by many base stations at the same time so it, it is like the control signal or any information you have to give for the uh, uh, subscriber at that time this paging message just are used handoff it is the one of the we can say the um, uh, basic terminology which is a very important terminology related to the wireless mobile communication system and that is the um, the process of trans transferring a mobile station from one channel or the base station uh, to another so uh, one base station to another base station change over is there of the mobile at that time it is known as the handoff or we can say one msc area to another msc area there is a switch over uh, between the whatever the connectivity is there that is nothing but the handoff uh, so uh, if you are on the on the um, uh, age of the any base station uh, uh, we can say area uh, at that time what will happen uh, with the help of the control signals they are going to get means uh, whatever the um, mobile station is uh, receives the information that whatever the power received from the base station uh, 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 on which you are going to uh, uh, on which you are going to uh, you are uh, communicating is less than whatever the power received from the um, adjacent uh, uh, base station at that time they need to uh, switch over from one base station to another base station uh, we must know that whatever the um, bandwidth allocated by the first base station uh, um, is not the bandwidth allocated by the second base station and uh, that is a switch over is there switch over happens in i think uh, 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 tens of the milliseconds uh, only and uh, uh, subscriber is don't know that i am going to switch from one base station to the another base station or the one msc to the another uh, msc also so handoff is one of the uh, we can say um, important terminology of the wireless communication uh, system then uh, subscriber as we know that uh, different mobile um, uh, service providers are there as we know in uh, our territory uh, these are the jio is there idi is there then airtel is there uh, vodafone is there so uh, different uh, we can say the uh, service providers are there so in order to communicate with the another mobile uh, uh, i must purchase the uh, we can say the um, uh, uh, whatever the um, uh, data or the or the calling uh, 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 time so that particular thing we have to do and um, uh, subscriber is one who is going to purchase that uh, um, uh, facility from the service provider that is nothing but the subscriber so each and every mobile station is a subscriber only roamer is nothing but subscribers are different and um, uh, roamer uh, um, uh, roamers in which the mobile station which operates in a service area that is uh, market other than the uh, that of which service has been uh, subscribed so 
we can say the um, different areas are there in which the different service providers are working in that particular area. So, one particular area if you are going to cross over to another area then uh, that particular um, um, mobile station is known as the roamer only. Uh, FLD frequency division multiplexing and this particular frequency division multiplexing is um, uh, always related to the uh, we know that the um, uh, utilization of the bandwidth uh, it must be efficient and for that purpose uh, this uh, FDD is used. Um, as we know that means uh, in case of the FDD what happens the base station to main, main station or main station to base stations whatever the um, communication is going on that particular communication has the different frequencies and whatever the forward frequency and the reverse frequency from base station to main station and main station to base station must have some sufficient isolation and that must be provided. Um, in, in case of the FDD. So, FDD you keep in mind that the, it is like the uh, frequency uh, multiplexing and um, it is used for the utilization uh, efficient utilization of the bandwidth. Time division multiplexing is also like the time multiplexing. So, TDD time division duplexing it is known as the time division duplexing is only possible with the digital transmission formats only it is not possible in case of the analog formats because it is it is um, uh, time segmented uh, area in which the forward communication and the reverse communication is taking place in which the uh, some time gap uh, it, it, it needs. So, um, these are the two basic communication uh, we can say the uh, tools used um, uh, facilities used for efficient utilization of the channels. Thank you.